Now, the tributes from District 2. First up, we have Benjamin Wachter. Let's see what the game makers had to say. Benjamin Wachter. In significant contrast to the tribute before him, Benjamin narrated what he was planning to do for his evaluation, but ran out of time before he began to do it. We rate him a 1. Now, this is very startling. I'd, I'd heard rumors about this. Rather than showcasing any talent whatsoever, Mr. Walker just came in and, and talked. Uh, now, the game makers don't have a lot to go on, so maybe he'll surprise everyone by, by doing something that we haven't seen before. But right now, things are not looking promising. Also, he portrayed Sloth in a production of Dr. Faustus recently. Therefore, that might be affecting his personality. He might be too lethargic to make it through this game. His partner from District 2 is Kira Henderson. Kira is one of the most emotionally stable tributes we've seen this year. She is completely capable of writing sad poetry in her journal and moving on quickly and effectively, which allows her to keep her, fo her focus on the task at hand without emotional trauma or distraction. She also slapped Benjamin during training. Her rating is a 9. Now, I gotta give her credit for slapping Benjamin during training. I think that that probably has everything to do with her rating of 9. Now, her main skill, as she's shown, is poetry. This is very interesting. Uh, poetry does not really help uh, in, in the arena. However, there is that saying that the pen is mightier than the sword, so we might see that come to fruition. Uh, we don't know. Normally, District 2 is a very strong district. Uh, we normally have the careers. Neither of these two players seem to be coming uh, up to career status. So we're looking to Rosemary Ouellette, again from District 1, to carry the careers through to this game and hopefully get a career victory. But we'll see. Maybe we'll see some surprises in these two. But probably not in Benjamin. Moving on, District 3.